despite the dark history between the two clubs, <coughs> these are different times in which we're living. Yeah. Should Alioski be free to go where he wants? It's um you can understand the reaction of the Leeds United fans given the circumstances. Obviously there was a lot going on at that particular time. There was allegations allegations of Leeds fans being in Istanbul and taunting and spoiling for a fight with the Galatasaray uh, fans who have a little crew called the Night Watchmen that had their own agenda to, to, to cause trouble. But 21 years or 20 years has passed and an individual player that has no real relationship with Leeds United besides signing a contract and giving Leeds United the best he can give them during that period of time and has an opportunity to progress his career somewhere else will have a challenge in his mind about looking at something that he will greatly respect the, the, what, what happened and there will be great sadness for the, the two that lost their lives. But I'm conflicted about the loyalty that he has for something that wasn't, didn't happen when he was there and mm. has nothing to do perhaps with the situation today and also the great feelings of emotion that the Leeds fans will have. And I think the player is in an incredibly invidious position. You know, he can't... We don't know what office he does or doesn't have. We don't know where else he may be able to go. We don't know whether he's holding out for more money from Leeds United and subsequently snubbing Leeds United to go to a club that there's history with. We might be in a situation where the player has nowhere else to go. And that's the only decent offer on the table. Leeds aren't offering him a new contract. What's he to do? He's in a very conflicted position. It's all well and good that he has moral standards for other people, but he also has a life to live himself. Gareth, another Leeds fan. Many Leeds fans getting in touch. Good morning, Gareth. Hi, Jay. Hi, Hi mate. What, what do you think of this? Do, would, would you say, yeah, two decades on, you know, no. what's, what's stopping Alioski no. going there? No, I, I was in Taxi Square that night. I was in the bar when, uh, when we were attacked. Uh, and so many people still carry physical and emotional scars from that night. You know, the, the families, you know, the children of, of, of Kevin who were only toddlers when, when he was murdered. Uh, you know, I know, I know Kevin's lad really well. He came to Australia with me when we went to pre-season eight, 18 months ago. And these people, everything's now getting dragged up again for these, for these families, and, and it's unfair. And I think the, the fact that that, that club... Uh, has never apologised, has never shown any kind of remorse. And, you know, the fans were gloating on, online yesterday, posting horrific pictures of what happened that night and and still trying to rub people's faces in it. Then I don't think anybody that's associated with Leeds United should ever, ever deal with, with, with that club. Alioski knows what happened you know he's not uneducated the club knows what what happened it was the 20-year anniversary last year there was obviously we lost a lot of events due to due to covid but there was you know there, there was a lot of publication around it there was events at, at the ground calvin phillips laid kindly laid flowers there's always something in, in the programs about it what happened that night must never be forgotten and it must never be repeated Yes, and yeah. and I, it's it's wrong. I genuinely, honestly think it's wrong. The guy, mm. you know, he, people say oh, he needs his money and he needs to he needs to look after his family. The guy's already a multi-millionaire. You know, he's a top-level footballer, and I am convinced that a guy of of that quality, although he's not outstanding quality, the guy can play football clearly, and he's on a free transfer. There isn't just one club in the world that, that that's coming in for him. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, ten till one. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.